Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and his wife, Sarah, Your Excellency, the American Ambassador Dan Shapiro and his wife, Julie Fisher Shapiro, Head of Israel Opposition, Yitzhak Buzhi Herzog, Ministers, Knesset members, Israeli Defense Force Chief of Staff, Gadi Eisenkot, Ambassadors, distinguished guests, and among those guests, I would like to congratulate the Muslims for Ramadan Karim. May Ramadan would be celebrated as festival of peace, as festival of love, love to God and love to all human beings all around the world. Thank you, Dan and Julie for inviting us uh, to your home on this special occasion. As a child, when I thought of America, I would think of John Wayne, Gary Cooper, Rita Herold, and Marlon Brando, and of course others, many others. I would imagine the bright red Cadillac Deville this was my American dream as a young Jerusalemite. To this day, these images carry for me a deep affection for the United States and the American people. Our relationship is, first and foremost, an emotional one. Indeed, for Israelis, America still stands out as a leading, solid, super brand. It is a brand in which we feel confident because behind the glamour of Hollywood, the magic of Manhattan or New Orleans, lies core values, as, as, as you have said so, uh, Mr. Ambassador, which we both deeply share. What you may say as truth justice, an American way, as Superman said, we may, as, we, may, we may say freedom, democracy, and good old Israeli chutzpah. Dear friends, growing up in the years after the Second World War, when the world was divided between East and West, and defined in terms of good versus evil, the stars and the stripes represented in our eyes freedom and progress. The American dream as we saw it. For the first time in centuries, perhaps for the first time in history, we, the Jewish people and the Jewish nation, and later on, the Israeli state or the state of Israel felt we had a true friend standing behind us. The, star <laughs> the stars and the stripes represented for us, first and foremost, a sense of hope and new beginning. It was not only the crucial role the United States played, in saving Europe from the Nazis. I think it was the unique readiness of America to take on the responsibility of defending freedom, not only during the war itself, but also for decades later. American leadership of the free world during the Cold War was not only political. It was about standing up for good and against evil. America is a superpower lived up to the American ethos. We were inspired by America as it lived up to its accountability to the future as Winston Churchill said so. Later, we were inspired by Martin Luther King's dream 
en by Rabbi Abraham Yoshua Heschel going hands with King on the civil rights march from Selma to Montgomery. Together, setting moral standards for all Americans and for all humanity. When I marched in Selma, I felt my, my legs were praying, said Rabbi Heschel. To this day, American, American, would, American world leadership, America's image, it, it is, both path, is both based on its moral leadership. We have witnessed America undertaking yet again the, to stand up to tyranny, to terror, in protection of freedom. Moral clarity should not be the property of the past. In the chaotic Middle East, where your enemy's enemy is not is not really your friends. It's not necessarily so that the enemy of your enemy is your friend. And in the, fa and in the face of nuclear Iran, we must not lose the ability to tell right from wrong. Failure is not an option. And in face of the, the, those crucial challenges, we stand, America and Israel, side by side. May we continue to walk together. May we continue to be proud of our common values and of our friendship. And may God bless the United States of America. May God bless the state of Israel. Thank you.